particular Mandela effect really blew my mind. Uh, as a child, my uncle actually worked for Ford in Melbourne, Australia, and whenever we'd go over and visit, he would give me and my brother uh, lots of Ford badges and other Ford merchandise. Now as a child your mind is like a sponge. Certain events, moments or even toys that you had at the time are ingrained in your mind all the way into adulthood. So looking at the logo in its current form for me looks really weird and I do, I do not remember seeing a pig's tail at the end of the F. But you might argue that the company has just recently changed their logo. Well according to the history of the Ford logo the curly loop has been with us since 1912. Now before I start showing you some of the old Ford logos that I found, I decided to go out and ask some people what they remember the Ford logo looking like. So let's have a look at that. Because the way I remember it, the F was like that. That's right. And the O wasn't like that. It was like that. So you need that F on that one and look closer. But I think the O is probably a complete. I'm going to show you two images. You tell me which is the right one. Is that one there? And that one there. Oh, so you, you point to the one that you think is the right logo. Oh, but which one I think is the right logo? That one there. What if I told you that it's that one? And, and if I did tell you it's that one, what's strange about it? What, what, what looks weird about that logo there? Probably just the F. So you, so you remember incorrectly, but here's the, here's the weird thing, my friend. That's been the logo, apparently, since 1912. Uh -huh. That's what they tell us. So I'm going to present two of these for you. There's that one there. You're a mechanic. You should know this. Yeah. Which one's the right logo? Good question. You don't find anything weird with that logo at all. The colour. And you don't find that weird? Oh. You know what? I've been looking at Ford for years. But you've, I bet you've never noticed it. I haven't, not a ride until now. However, as a child, that's what I remember. My uncle worked for Ford. He used to give us badges all the time. And if you look at any Ford right so now... That's got the through there. That's right, that's right. So here's the, here's the weird thing. If None you, of them are right. Well, that one, is, that one is supposed to be right. And according to the history, it's been around since 1912. But yet, we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're believing that this one is because that is actually right as well. That is, that is that's based on For Henry Ford's signature. And here's one here that you'll see on a block, on, a, on the bottom of a Ford there. Here's another one, check this out. I don't know if I'm holding it the right way. Yep, have a look at, have a look at the F there. Yeah, but that's, that's aftermarket. Yeah, but that's, that's aftermarket. So basically what he's saying is that if someone produces a Ford aftermarket product, they have the right to display their own version of the official logo? Really? Ordinarily, I would say that Ford would be taking some swift legal action, but chances are they might end up getting confused about which one of these is the actual logo. So I'm going to show you two logos. You tell me which is the right one. Point, point to the one that you think is right. <laughs> I hate Ford. <laughs> is that a good thing or a bad thing for this, for this experiment? <laughs> Which one I would have preferred is that one. So do you want to point to that for me? Just that, that, one, that one there. And why does this one look strange to you? Tell me. Well, what if I told you that that's been the logo since 1912? Time to change. <laughs> <laughs> but, let me just make sure this is recording. Which one's the right one? Don't look at the colouring, only look at the letters. Uh, I'd say that one. Yeah, I'd say that one. Why, why, why would you say that one? I don't know. I don't remember it having a squiggly... Oh, I used to have a Ford. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> I don't remember having that squiggly bit on it. This is the first one, and this is the second one. Now, don't look at colouring. All I want you to look at is the letters. Which one to you looks like the right logo? <laughs> um, I don't know. Just look at the letters very closely. The letters? Uh -huh. What do you think? Am I saying difference? Which one's? Oh, wait, which one's the normal one? Yeah. Yeah. You're looking at the letters. I reckon. Okay, that one. Okay, yeah. Can um, I ask why you picked that one? That. What's weird about this one? Well, this looks like an F. 
That's right. Is that right? I don't know. This looks like an F2, but that oh, he, looks like old school. Oh, that he, looks like old school. You, my dear, hit the nail on the head. The Ford logo we remember is 100% old school and has a certain ballsiness about it. The current logo in our timeline, however, is anything but old school. I have to say it was actually nice seeing other people remembering the logo as I do. And in a way, it was kind of comforting to know that people that are affected by this are not actually going crazy. Now let me tell you, finding Mandela Effect residue for this particular logo was not easy. But I scoured the internet and I managed to find some very interesting photos that you can clearly see the old Ford logo being displayed. Let's have a look. In case you're still not convinced, I went a step further and managed to find some video clips that actually show the original Ford logo. The first video is of a Ford probe on an old episode of Top Gear. It's also Even though the quality is not all that great, you can still make out that the logo does not have the curly pigtail on the letter F. To make sure I wasn't just seeing things, I sharpened one of the frames and you can clearly see that this looks like the original Ford logo. I also found a short video from a YouTuber that goes by the name of Koffelt, who managed to find a Ford logo sticker on a black Mustang that was manufactured on the first month of 2012. It's interesting to note that this logo was loosely based on Henry Ford's signature and as you can see, there is no curly loop on the letter F. The next clip is also compliments of the show Top Gear where they review the Ford Festiva. Have a look at the logo on the steering wheel. There's no denying that this footage is of poor quality so I decided to export the best frame as a JPEG and enhance it by playing around with the levels and contrast. As you can see there is no sign of the loop on the F. Now for all you die-hard skeptics out there I've decided to leave the best for last. If this next clip doesn't convince you of the Mandela effect, then you're taking skepticism to a whole new level. And quite frankly, I'm puzzled at why you would watch this video in the first place. This clip was taken from an episode of Jay Leno's Garage, where he's reviewing a 1967 Ford Fairlane, and as they get under the bonnet, we hit the Mandela effect jackpot. Due to the high quality of this video, there is no denying that this is the Ford logo many of you will remember.